up guys and welcome back to the channel. You guys know when I'm sitting in this spot that it is haul time. Today I have a 16 piece haul to go over with you guys that I am of course so excited about because new listed inventory is like Christmas to me. All of these pieces are through online sourcing which basically means that I scope out the internet to find the best deals. Hopefully during this haul you are able to learn something new whether that is a new brand that I decided to pick up or maybe a style that I know has been selling for me. So we're gonna get started right away. This is a down and dirty haul so let's get to it. This first piece we are starting out with is this striped little number and this is by the brand Alexis. Some of you may have heard me talk about this brand before. I am fairly certain I have sold one or two items from this brand previously but I do know that it does do really well, especially their dresses. I will say, however, style is definitely very dependent based on this brand. So if you do come across this brand, definitely, and I will say this about everything, to make sure that the style is actually desirable. This one I did see comps on, so I was confident enough to pick it up. Also, it gives me such summer vibes. It has this bold stripe pattern. It also has pearl detail through out the neckline and it also has little pearls on the cuffs. It does have a dropped hem as well. This one is in a size small. This particular piece I paid $43 for and I do have it listed for $150 and actually when I was looking up this particular item I did notice that it was being sold on the Revolve website but it is out of stock. I did decide to model it myself just because I thought I would be able to showcase the really bold colors a little bit better. I'm looking at the style name, but I feel like I'm going to say it wrong. So I will pop up the style name for you guys in case you want to look it up too. Up next is a, another dress, but this one is new with tags. This is a new with tags, a Ted Baker piece. Here is the Ted Baker label. And as you guys can see, this is in a size two. I know I've mentioned this before, but Ted Baker sizing is a little bit different. So I do normally put a size chart within my listings as far as Ted Baker goes or I'll just write out the conversions within the description of the listing. I believe a size 2 is probably a medium but like I said it's in my listing. Anyways this was originally $329 and this is a midi dress with a flutter sleeve and zipper detail. It is so so pretty and this definitely screams wedding wear to me. This would be perfect for a guest attending a wedding which I know there's a lot happening, whether that is in the summertime or this would be a perfect fall wedding color as well. This is what the back looks like and I did decide to model this one out as well just because, again, I feel like the stock photo didn't really do it enough justice. So I did end up modeling this one out. You guys are going to be able to tell I am still doing my mirror pictures. They just take a little less work for me. So just as a time saver, at least for right now, because I am just juggling a couple of other things right now in my personal life. I just figured that mirror pictures are just quick and easy. I paid $45 for this piece and I currently have it listed for $170 and I will say that Ted Baker is definitely a brand that I know I've said is under the radar which is why I am definitely seeking it out more and more. Every time I pick up Ted Baker it does really well so I just need to remember that when I'm online sourcing. Up next is one of my personal favorite pieces and I'm sure you can understand why. Oh my goodness, this matta piece is just so so pretty. Here is what that tag looks like but you guys have known that I've been talking about matta for a while now. They have such a gorgeous bohemian style pieces and this is no exception. This is a pink bohemian style midi dress. I believe this is 100% cotton. It has this gorgeous floral detail on the sleeves. It has a peasant style neckline and then just flows out into this big skirt. This is what the back looks like. I paid $71 for this dress. I currently have it listed for $249 and it does have eight likes already, which is very exciting. I will say I just sold a dress for $150 and $160 last week. So I am hoping at least to get within that realm, maybe a little bit more just 
because this one is a bit more of a bolder color. So I have high hopes for this one. Up next, we won't just do dresses. This is a Zimmerman piece, which is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I tried this one on yesterday and not gonna lie, this is one of those pieces that was very hard not to put in my own closet. But this is another bohemian style piece. This one is in a size one. Zimmerman sizing is a little bit different as well. So again, I am going to put those conversions within the listing, which I already did yesterday. I think a size one is a small, I want to say. But again, you know, if you're really curious, you could look at the listing. Anyways, this has striped detail to it. It, it has a little pom-pom detail to it as well. The sleeves flare out into a balloon sleeve. The only flaw that I did catch on this is it does have a little bit of discoloration by the label. Honestly, you probably won't even be able to tell on camera, but it is so, so faint. It does have a peasant style neckline, and this is what the back looks like. This could be, again, perfect for summer. It is a tunic style, so perfect for if you're wearing, let's say, leggings or shorts or jeans, honestly, anything. It will look super, super cute. I paid $50.60 for this piece. I currently have it listed for $175, and it does have three likes to it as well. Worst comes to worst, if it doesn't sell, I will be borrowing this piece all summer long. But I think I'll have no problems with this one. Moving on on to another midi dress and this one is new with tags this is by the brand ALC you guys know I have been talking about ALC for years I feel like on my channel I first discovered ALC when I did my high-end liquidation palette with Fox liquidation and I received so many ALC pieces within that palette they all did super super amazing so I will forever love ALC and I just hit my face if you guys happen to catch that one. Sing, so I will Anyways, this is in a size zero, which definitely does not scare me. I have sold size zero before in ALC, so I don't think I'm going to have to worry about it. This is a midi style snakeskin button down dress. It does have a belt to it as well. Just super, super lightweight. I paid $45 for this piece and I currently have it listed for 200. Retail on this was $595. I am definitely hoping to get around the 130 to 140 mark on this one. So hopefully that happens for me. Speaking of ALC, we have one more piece by the brand. So I figured I'd get it over with. This is another midi style dress. This one is in a cobalt blue color. This one is a size zero as well. The retail on this one was $327. This is a short sleeve midi dress, very lightweight. Again, perfect for this time of year, 4th of July or a summer wedding. You guys get the gist. This one is a little bit more plain but just a very flattering silhouette. I currently have this listed for $145. I paid $45 for it and it has three likes so far. So hopefully someone pulls the trigger soon. Up next, we have a dress that I've actually already sold before. I probably sold this, ooh, I wanna say maybe in the fall time, but originally I bought this dress thinking it would be great for Valentine's Day, I think a year and a half ago. I'm pretty sure I hauled it when I used to do my hauls in my office on the floor. If you are an OG subscriber and you happen to remember me sitting on the floor in my office, then double, triple props, brownie points for you, and you should totally let me know if you are an OG subscriber. But anyways, this is by Veronica. Monica Beard, and this is a one shoulder dress. This is in a size six, and like I said, this is a duplicate. I've already sold this dress before, and this is just a very, very pretty ruched mini dress. It does have a concealed zipper on the side, and the back looks relatively similar to the front. I paid $38.69 for this dress. It isn't new with tags. It is pre-owned, but in great condition, and I currently 
currently have it listed for $175. I've actually sold this dress twice before. I just looked it up. So one time I sold this dress for $104. So even if I sell this one, let's say for $104, I'm still doubling my money, which I'm very happy about. And the second time I sold this dress in a size eight, I ended up selling it for $120. So I hope to get at least somewhere around there. And the beauty is I already have the stock photo and the style name for this one, even though I did end up modeling it yesterday. Now I have options at least. What do you know? We have another dress. Promise I have other things other than dresses in this haul. This one is by Marissa Webb and this is in a size small. Unfortunately, there's a little barcode that, you know, is blocking the label for this one, but it is by Marissa Webb and I will put up the spelling of it. This is a floral number and this is what the neckline looks like. It's a little bit confusing. It is a cold shoulder style. So here's where your shoulder would be. And it does have little eyelet detail and scallop detail on the cuffs of the sleeves. The whole entire thing is lace and it is lined. It does have a concealed zipper on the side. I ended up modeling out this one and it was so pretty. I love the colors of this one. I get such Love Shack fancy vibes from this particular dress. I have only heard of Marissa Webb before, so I don't have a lot of experience with the brand. I have heard it does really well, so we shall see. I actually have this dress in a size medium and extra small as well listed in my closet, but I only have the small here, you know, just sitting on the floor, but I do have other sizes that I did end up purchasing. This dress I paid $44 for, I currently have it listed for 140 and retail on this one was $625. Up next, we have a little romper or play suit, if you will. This again is by Zimmerman in a size zero. This is a black play suit with lace paneling on the side and on the sleeve. It has this nude underlay to it, so it gives off a really flattering shape. It has a concealed zipper in the back, but honestly, not too much to this one, just your classic black romper, perfect for a night out. I paid $66 for this piece, and I currently have it listed for $120. It does have one like, and I did end up using the stock photo for this one because the model was able to showcase the the lace paneling a little bit better than I did. Hopefully you guys can get a better visual of that. Up next, it wouldn't be a Lindsay Nicole haul without a blazer because apparently that's like my thing now. This one is by Ted Baker in a size two, new with tags yet again. This has such a cool texture to it and it also has little rose gold buttons on the cuff and also when you cinch it in. I flippin' love the interior of all Ted Baker items just because it has such a pretty detail on the interior and it always does whether you are buying let's say a Ted Baker purse or just a Ted Baker blazer jacket they always have such funky and cool interiors so this is what the back looks like and retail on this was originally $279 someone apparently crossed it out and I guess put it on discount for 227, but that is not what I paid for it. I paid $43 for this item and I currently have it listed for 175 and it has three likes so far. Up next, we have a metallic little number from Alice and Olivia. This one is new with tags. This was originally $330 in a size 10. And I just thought that this would be a really cool piece to have in the summer, but if it doesn't sell in the summer, this is a perfect holiday dress. It has a deep V neckline and a little bit longer than short sleeves. It does have an exposed zipper in the back. I currently have this listed for $150 and I paid $44 for this dress. Speaking of Alice and Olivia, I might as well, you know, continue on the party. This is a black Alice and Olivia blazer. It does have some ruching detail to the cuffs. Hopefully you guys are able to see that on camera. I paid $40.66 for this blazer. I have it listed for $125 and I'm hoping to at least get $90 to $100 on this. Back to dresses, we have an Ula Johnson little number. I love selling Ula Johnson. Ula Johnson is just a little bit harder for me to 
find really great deals for, but if I could, I would all day long. This is a mustard yellow Victorian style mini dress and it has a drop hem. And the skirt to this is just super, super precious. This is long sleeves with a little bit of a bell sleeve and the back has that Victorian style to it as well. I just flip and love this dress. It was so fun to try on. I just recently sold an Ula Johnson dress for $200, so I am very excited about the brand Ula Johnson. This one I currently have listed for $200, and I paid $56.60 for this dress. Up next, we have more of a wintry piece, but that is okay. This is by Reformation. Hopefully you guys can see that, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know what Reformation tag looks like. This is a mock style sweater dress. It has a bit of a balloon sleeve. Not too much to this one at all, but I figured I would pick it up because Reformation is just more of a bread and butter brand for me. Even if I don't double my money on Reformation, I know that Reformation just consistently sells. I paid $28.70 for this piece. I currently have it listed for $120 and it has one like so far. Up next is a familiar to me brand, but I still don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to show you guys. This is a red color mini dress. It does have a fit and flare style, and it does have a tie to cinch in at the waist. I love selling this brand. I actually sold a bundle of two dresses from this brand, I would say two, three weeks ago, and both of those dresses went for over $100, so I'm hoping that I am able to get the same price for this one. This is cool because you can wear it just as it is, or if you wanted to wear it off the shoulder as well, you could do so. And I think when I modeled out this dress, I did both. <laughs> so the buyer was able to see the different types of ways you can wear this piece. I currently have this listed for 175. I did pay 74, but I'm not thinking I'm going to double my money on this one. This one I'm hoping for fast sale around profiting 40 to $50 for. So hopefully that works out for me. And last but certainly not least, this is a New With Tags wrap style dress and this is by the brand All Things Mochi. This is in a size extra small. It says it was originally $355. It is undone so I will have to show you the stock photo but this is a wrap style dress and it does have little ruffles on the hemline. I just love the coloration to this, how they mixed fuchsia with the yellow. I currently have this listed for 200 and I paid $45 for it. I'm hoping to get around the $130 mark for it. So hopefully that works out for me. And that was everything. Time flies when you're having fun as always. I hope you guys enjoyed and you were able to learn something new or maybe just hang out with me for a while. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy my hauls, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It always helps out my channel and it helps me out and I always appreciate it. So thank you if you, you know, decide to click that thumbs up button. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. And yes, I am feeling so much better. It is so nice to have energy and my personality back. So thank you for all of your well wishes. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.